dressing room. I want to remind you, protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. God bless you both. Touch up. These two evolve when it comes to their replay rules, and now Jay Nady will be the replay official for this particular fight. And now the replay official will have the final say when they put out that yellow light as a warning that there is a review underway. So the evolution of this system, which we believe works extremely well here in Nevada State. Yes, you know, they're at the front runner, the front runners of, uh, you know, changing the rule and making the sport better. I think this will definitely favor the fighter, the fighters along the way. We may not get a lot of time to talk about Duke Reagan, a young fighter out of Cincinnati, continuing in that great line of fighters and champions, such as Ezra Charles, Aaron Pryor, and his mentor, Rashi Warren, a three-time Olympian. He was supposed to be in Tokyo this summer. Yeah. And due to the fact that, you know, the Olympics got postponed and that he had a rough time to get there, he decided to turn pro in order to give his daughter, Kennedy, a two-year-old daughter, a better life. So he decided this was the best way for him. Yeah, when you have the responsibility, you know, you got to make money. You know, going to the Olympics, it's not a for sure thing. There's a lot of politics involved in that. You know, but he's a very talented young man. Uh, I like the poise from the start. I love his great jab. The one thing that I want to talk about first is, is this all the ha, ha, ha. He still has that amateur. I know it's his second professional fight, so that's one thing that he needs to get away from is making that noise. He's basically giving, giving let, allowing his opponent to know when he's going to be throwing a punch. Sometimes you let your opponent know and there's absolutely nothing they can do. Mm. That happened in his professional debut against Luis Alvarado here in the bubble. But although John Moraga took this fight on Wednesday and is an MMA fighter who had been away from the ring for seven and a half years between his pro debut and his uh, win against Brandon Foss, 90 months off, but he said, look, I've been training in MMA. He was with UFC, got his release from UFC, and he says, mm. I want to give this sport another chance. And I know a lot of people say, oh, MMA fighters don't have hands. He says, you're going to see that I can box. <laughs> Moraga landed two big shots. 15 seconds ago, he landed overhand right. Why? Because Reagan, my man Reagan pulled back with his left hand down and was hit with the overhand right. Round one is in the books. The first time that Duke Reagan hears the bell at the end of a round. And we remind you that we're in the bubble, inside a contained space here at the MGM Grand where fighters are tested upon arrival. They quarantine overnight, stay within secure areas and retest on weight day. We all do the same thing, except we don't have to weigh in. The fighters are accompanied only by two licensed corner men. Jacob Stitch Duran, Mike the Mechanic Basil, and Bob Ware are the cut men available to both fighters. All towels, hand wraps, and gloves are disposed of in hazardous waste material, bins, the judges and Nevada State Athletic officials, as well as the employees calling the fight, we all are at least six feet away from the ring, always uh, respecting social distancing norms and making sure that everyone within this bubble is safe. Bernardo Osuna alongside Timothy Bradley, as well as Mark Kriegel coming to you from Vegas. And Duke Reagan coming out for the second round of a professional fight for only the first time as a pro. And you, you see the haircut that he's got. Says it's the rage now in Cincinnati because really? everybody's getting that. Tim, Starting to trend, huh? You, you should get one of those. Yeah, I, 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 I wish I could grow my hair like that. <laughs> my hair don't grow anymore, Bernardo. <laughs> I've been getting the ball cut since I was 14 years old. Nice right hand there from Duke Reagan who started going to the body. He gets countered by a right hand, but this is a more aggressive Reagan we're seeing in round two. 
Yeah, I like it. He's getting on his jab. He's setting up things off, everything off the jab. You know, he's very disciplined, a very disciplined fighter in Reagan. Nice little feint right there. Duke Reagan is trained by Kay Karoma, who he's known since the amateur days. He said, the reason I like Kay is because he would check on me. My father's incarcerated, and my dad would call him and make sure I was working out. And he's, he, he wasn't the type of guy who said, I'll only care about you if you're my guy, if you're my fighter. He said he just was never pushy about it. Kay always made sure I was okay, and he, I always knew that he had my back. That's sweet. Kay Karoma, a, a name you hear a lot uh, in terms of the top-ranked stable, whether it be uh, fighters like you know, Shakur Stevenson, who he serves as an assistant alongside Wally Moses, his, his uh, head trainer. And Michaela Mayer, who worked with Al Mitchell. Yeah. You know, he's, he's just a guy that's always there for his fighters. F.A. Ajagba, we just saw a couple weeks back. Nice counter hook there by Reagan. Starts going to the body now against Moraga. I like Reagan how he, he stays close enough to Moraga to be able to counter. You know, he's solid on him, you know, solid with his stance. He's directly in front of him. He's taking small little steps to changing the angles, trying to set up the big shot. Not forcing anything at all. I like that from this young man, Reagan. Moraga is still trying to figure out things. He's still trying to figure out how, what he needs to do to get his offense working. Now he's starting to move a little bit, trying to change the angle a little bit on Reagan. But he's still not throwing enough offense for me, Bernardo. Ooh, low blow uh, uh, from Duke Reagan with the left there. Moraga was, apart from being a UFC fighter, who actually fought for the world title, had a 19-7 and MMA record, and, and fought Demetrius Johnson, Mighty Mouse, for the title in He's got a, a long combat career as well as being an All-American in wrestling. Guido Vianello. This man looks to not get the, past the third round for the first time as a pro. And, you know, he closed out 2019 with a 44-second blowout of Colby Madison. That was last November at the Cosmopolitan. He made quick work thanks to that brutal right hand that he landed up to the temple. And then he returned on opening night of the bubble on June 9th, where he stopped Donald Hainsworth with a big right hand also in the first round. Timber! And then he had a fight scheduled July 21st against Kingsley Ebay, which was postponed due to his opponent testing positive for COVID-19. They'll fight again, Tim. You like this kid? I like both these guys. I like eBay. I like what he's done inside the bubble, you know, producing good knockouts. And then also, I like this man right here, Guido. Love him. Got tremendous punching power. Comes from a tennis playing family. He finally was able to go home and visit his family in Italy due to the COVID-19 situation after uh, that fight was postponed in July. Said it was nice to see everybody healthy. And he's inspired. He said that pasta was delicious. Duke Reagan taking on John Moraga. This is Moraga's third professional fight. His pro debut happened at age 28 in April of 2012. Then he took seven and a half years off before coming back to beat Brandon Foss by TKO. And that was, you know, something that he needed to do for himself. Said, things stalled for my MMA career, so I, I'm giving boxing a full opportunity here. Oh, he's giving boxing a full opportunity. He can't take anybody down. He needs to throw some punches. That's how you win fights. Watch your hands. Watch your hands. Stop. Throw some Watch punches. Your Watch your head. Good? Let's go. Watch your hands, guys. Duke Reagan had to throw punches yeah, since boy. he was a little kid because he's one of 18. He's got 18 brothers and sisters. Excuse me? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. You sure you got that number right? I asked him. <laughs> that number is correct. <laughs> Man. He said his dad would get them all together in a park every Sunday. They'd have some fun. He'd put on the gloves with his twin brothers who were just a year younger than oh, him. Oh, that sounds awesome. So, Love that. Hey, the Reagan cookouts out in Cincy must have been lit. It lit. 
Oh, nice right hand there from Duke Watch Reagan. Your Watch your head, both Once of you. again, gets clipped by a headbutt from John Moraga. That's a big spread for 18 kids. That's uh, that's that's major. Falls right in the middle between a 12-year-old and a 33-year-old older brother. So, Duke Reagan at age 23. Ooh, nice body shot from Reagan. Yeah, he also goes to the body as well. You know, especially when you come from the amateur circuit, a lot of guys don't tend to go to the body. That's what I like about Reagan. He actually is paying attention to the body. I would like him to pick up his jab a little bit more. He can probably be a little bit more aggressive, but he's just being cautious right now, just picking his picking his spots and trying to get out of this fight with a clean face. I remember seeing Duke Reagan when I was covering the Pan Am Games in Lima uh, last year. Oh, there's a cut by a headbutt as referee Russell Mora notices and he lost to Cuba's Osvel Caballero after winning two mm. fights and, and that's how he head, earned silver in that heads. tournament but you know among the best in the Americas Duke Reagan so cut seems to be on the right under the right eye of Duke Reagan see these stale spots right here this is when you get your jab working you got to work it up and down I haven't seen Reagan really go down to the body with the jab. Accidental headbutt. Accidental headbutt. Hey, man, you all right? You got some Vaseline? Bullshit. Come on, you all right? You all right? This is a baby cut. This is a baby cut. Okay, we got to stop pulling. Last round, you both have to watch your head, okay? I'll tell him the same thing. Last round. That was him. Come on, come on. Now nah, we're just messing with okay. Prince, Prince. Okay. Bob Ware working the cut of Duke let's Reagan. Finish this and finish this spot. He the first thing he asked, how big is the cut? <laughs> I mean that's that just shows you a young fighter who right. doesn't get touched much right. all of a sudden. He's worried about that cut. Touch gloves. Touch gloves. They did a good job in the corner reassuring him that it wasn't a big deal. And, that, and that's where the trust comes in, right? Because you really don't know how bad it is. Another thing I just saw, I just saw Reagan come out and touch the gloves of Moraga. Not throwing a whole lot of punches, but they want to touch gloves in the beginning. You do that at the beginning of the fight. You don't need to touch gloves right now. It's a fight. Sometimes so this is that this is that atmosphere that I'm talking about. The right. atmosphere here inside the bubble. It feels like a sparring session without the fans. You can't fall in that mindset. This is a fight. Reagan's only thrown 136 uh, and landed 39 punches through the first three rounds. 21 out of 84 total punches for John Moraga, but we saw earlier. Mark, what do you got in the corners? Welcome to the education of a prize prospect. Duke Reagan's never been cut before, according to Kay Karoma, who wants him to keep fainting. Moraga's going for the feints, but close the gap, be more aggressive, put something behind that jab. Good instructions from Kay Karoma. Nice body shot from Moraga. Dipped down and ducked to the body of Duke Reagan. That's what you need to do with the younger fighters. You need to go down and test that body. No one likes it downstairs. That is a fact. Watch your head, watch your head. Duke Reagan showing poise. Yeah, he, he's poised. He definitely is poised. He's putting, you know, power on every every shot. Ooh, especially mm. that right hand right there. That was beautiful. It was a great counter right hand. And then now digging to the body with that same right hand. See, but then, now he's starting to put it together. You know, a lot of times you can wait for things to happen, but a lot of time, most of the time you need to create them. If they're not happening, create them. You create them with your jab. You create them with movement. Faint. You do different things to get your opponent out of, position and then you make them pay and you see once again starts with the jab upstairs goes with the right to the body does duke reagan against john moraga for a guy who took the fight on wednesday had to drive overnight to get here on thursday do his medicals and make weight on friday so you you and moraga have a lot in common after you got your reward yesterday oh. from the ronald mcdonald house you had to drive overnight come in here and test but here you are timothy bradley and john moraga making us proud 
the best part about last night was the Ronald McDonald socks. That's what I love, man. Them socks they gave me, man. <laughs> and all the great work that they do for yeah. children and families. Yeah, that's a great that's a great foundation, man. If you guys don't know anything about the Ronald McDonald's house, I think you need to definitely research them. So Duke Reagan, after getting that big first round knockout in his pro debut on August 22nd, goes the distance against John Moraga, who took the fight on late notice, but really came in here and did himself proud. Well, Reagan, I mean, Reagan could have did a lot more. I could tell right away he needs to work on his conditioning right away. It's the first thing that I noticed. I think he could have, you know, been a little bit more aggressive, could have got a more offensive, and probably could have got, got my man up out of here. But good performance, solid performance from him, great jab, great fundamentals, and I want to see more. I want to see more. That's the important thing. And coming up next, we've got Kingsley Ebay who returns to the bubble and his trainer Ricky Ricardo. COVID-19 has been an issue for this team, but here they are fully healthy, recovered and ready to put on a great fight against Guido Vianello. And, and even looks in better shape. And then I take a look at what we saw from Duke Reagan. Well, and a whole lot of punches from, from Moraga at all. Reagan just controlling distance. It's, it's simple. Use the jab. If you have a fighter in front of you that's not going to punch, well, you need to create opportunities. And that's what we saw with Reagan. He was creating opportunities, going down to the body, trying to get Moraga to drop those hands so he can land shots like that. The jab from the outside. I just want to see, like I said, I want Reagan to come in. I want him to come in with better conditioning, give it a little bit more offense. So that way we can see a spectacular performance. He had an okay performance tonight, but not spectacular like I was expecting. Yeah, the numbers uh, bear that out. He only landed about 22% of his punches did Duke Reagan, seven of those going to the body. But he was able to outland Moraga. I think the, the numbers are incorrect there. I think they're flipped each way. But Mark Chinook has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, here inside MGM Grand, after four rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for the official decision. All three judges score the bout 40-36 for your winner by unanimous decision, Duke Reagan! Duke Reagan gets the victory here inside the bubble. He's 2-0. Both of his victories have come here in Las Vegas, making Cincinnati Proud. So Duke Reagan.